Hey, it's Marilla Manelli, and today I'm going to be doing a pretty dramatic makeover that's complete with some color blocking using Kenra Color Creatives, and I'm also adding in some Donna Bell hair extension Kara links for some added length and density for, again, a really dramatic makeover. Now let's go ahead and get started. model and as you can see she's a natural level six she's got some grown out highlights and she wants a pretty dramatic change going darker with a creative pop of greenish blue and we're also going to be adding in some length for this dramatic makeover so i'm starting out with her sectioning which is a triangular section but it's a little off center here so i'm using her fringe as my guide and then taking that center point a little again off center to the arch of her eyebrow and then bringing it right on down to the front of the ear. So that entire side section is about an inch and a half wide. The back section we're just going to leave alone and we will be filling this as well. So if you want to call this a little bit of a color correction, you can. It's a pretty subtle color correction, but while her highlights are processing, we will be filling her hair because that is necessary for how dark we're going to go. For that fringe area, I'm simply gonna do a platinum card because we just wanna take back-to-back -back slices with no hair in between so that way we can brighten this up as light as possible. She really loves greens and blues and in order to achieve that, we need to go pretty light here. So my goal is to take her as light as possible in one session. So I'm using Kenner Professional Blue Powder Lightener at a one to two mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. And the reason why I chose this lightener is because it is my power lightener. I need to get her as light as possible. So blue powder is my go-to. The only time that I would probably choose Beyond Bond or you know, a clay lightener or no ammonia is maybe if I'm trying to go a little bit more gentle in my formulation, but blue powder is my power lifter, especially for creative shades. So for this platinum card, you can see that I'm taking pretty thin slices until this entire section is completely applied. And I'm making sure to thoroughly saturate. So I'm really focusing on moving my brush up and down, side to side, making sure that the underside of this slice is thoroughly saturated. I cannot emphasize that enough, especially with lightener. A lot of times if you find that your lightener is not lifting, it's probably a saturation problem. And this is why a lot of stylists sometimes like to change the viscosity of their lightener, which is what is amazing about Kenra color lighteners is that you can choose a lot of the times a one to one for a thicker viscosity all the way to one to three mixing ratio for something a little bit more thinner. So if you're struggling with getting a lift, you might enjoy changing up your mixing ratio just a little bit. Just keep in mind a lot of times the thinner that you go with that one to three, if you're not too comfortable with it, you know, just be a little more cautious at that root area when you're trying to get that perfect blend so that way you don't get any bleeding in your foils. But for application like this, I'm not too concerned with bleeding whatsoever. Now, the reason why I chose this form of application for my foils, a, basically a sliced platinum card with no hair in between, is because the foil is a heat conductor and I'm gonna get the max amount of lift. Now, there's lots of people that'll just say, well, you don't really need to waste you know, your time putting in foils, just put the lightener on and call it a day. What happens when you're doing that is you have that open air processing and lightener likes to stay moist at all cost so in order for it to continue to have that power so putting it inside of a foil actually helps the with the process of that lift that we need so that's why it's imperative when doing this type of application you do want to do some form of platinum card the only time i what wouldn't use a foil application is if she when she comes back in for her six week retouch, we're just gonna touch up the base area with the lightener with no foils. But this is a fresh install, so it's very important that you do use the foil. I can't emphasize that enough. 
Now for the back section, we are going to fill. So like I mentioned before, she is a natural level six, but you can see a lot of those old highlights kind of poking through. And she also has some previous color going on. And I really want to even out this canvas. And the other main reason why we're filling is because we're taking her from this lighter shade to a level three. And what that means is we're going more than two levels darker. So in order for the color to last the longest, we need to fill. And the golden rule of filling is just two levels at a time. So what I'm gonna be filling her with is Kenra Professional Demi Permanent 6GG equal parts to 5N. I didn't wanna add any red in there. It wasn't really necessary because she already still has a lot of those red pigments. Plus we're going more for a natural shade. So I want to just replace some of those gold pigments going on, but again, not too concerned with that really either. I just want to get that level back down. And the N series is going to give me all three of those complementary colors put back into this base. I'm going to let this process for 20 minutes minimum because that's how long the Demi Permanent needs to process for max saturation. And I'm just periodically going to check her foils throughout. And then once she is done processing, I'm going to be mixing up her creative shade. Now for the root tap of the creative shade in that fringe area, I'm simply using blue with the true black, just a little bit, just to deepen up that blue. And then for the mids and ends, I'm mixing up my own green. So what's important to note is that Kenra doesn't make green, but you can make your own. So that's really exciting. So you're just going to take that yellow and the blue. And for myself, I just added in the true black again, just again to add that depth into my green. I wanted it to be a little bit more richer and, and deeper. I added my Kenra Color Creative onto dry hair. So you're actually going to get the maximum deposit and saturation applying it onto 100% dry hair. So that's really important to know. And I'm also adding this into a foil. And the whole reason why I'm adding it into a foil is for a few reasons. Number one, I want the ultimate control of the application of where that blue going into the green goes. And the second reason is, is I do not want to get this onto her face or to her skin. So this is just going to give me the max control all around. The number one tip that I can tell you about applying any type of direct dye is to make sure to not only, like I mentioned already, apply onto dry hair, but make sure it's overly saturated. You want to make sure you get all sides of the hair. Once I got her creative shade completely applied, now I'm going to go in with that final shade for the back area. And I'm using Demi Permanent 3N at a one to one mixing ratio with nine volume developer. I decided to use this because it's the most gentlest form of color to use. And her overall goal is to not only just have a big change, but also to have really low maintenance when it comes to her color. She doesn't want a harsh line of demarcation, even though we're going pretty deep. And that's why I love Demi Permanent so much is because you still get that lasting color effect for that six to eight weeks, but the subtle difference between the natural versus the Demi is just such a much softer line versus the permanent hair color. So once I got that on, I'm processing her room temperature for a full 20 minutes. Once she was done processing, I shampooed her out with Kenra Lux Shine Shampoo and Conditioner and then 100% blow dried her hair. Now I didn't add any products to her hair before putting the hair extensions in, but as soon as I got these Carolinks installed, I added in some Kenra Professional Silkening Heat Cream and added in a few curls. And here's the final result of this dramatic makeover. I think she totally rocks this dark brunette shade along with these green fringe, just kind of asymmetrically coming onto the side. It looks gorgeous on her. In addition to the heat silkening cream, I added in a little bit of dry texture spray for her tousled waves that she's got going on. And I really hope you like this look. So I really hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and be sure to check out my other hair tutorials right here on this channel. And I will see you next time.